What's going on everybody? I'm Nick Betts here at the AWS Expo Center at reInvent 2023. I'm joined by my friend Rui here. Uh, Rui, why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? So, so Rui Costa, I am part of the PACE team based out of the East Coast. I am a solution developer. Gotcha, so Rui and I are talking about some great Gen AI demos. I know that's the hot button issue yeah. at this year's reInvent, right? So what is this booth, Rui? What are we, can we learn here today? <laughs> so this is a, a, an interesting setup. So we have four arenas and it's a game, but what we're really trying to showcase is industrial use cases with drones and okay. specifically running large language models at the edge. Gotcha, so what are some, so we have these drones kind of inspecting, right? That's what you guys were talking to me about before this segment started. Basically, these drones go around. There's some cool industrial use cases. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so think about like any, really any use case that has drones involved, so like a search and rescue. Okay. Uh, or a railroad, for example, where you have uh, drones flying over railroads to inspect those railroad lines to see, is there any damage? This is what we're talking about here is because it allows us to do it disconnected from the internet. Gotcha, so lots of cool civil engineering use cases. Yes. We've got some search and rescue, yes. awesome stuff. So basically, tell me if I'm summarizing this correctly. What this game is showing is these drones are able to kind of go around and inspect these different points, like you said, a bridge or search and rescue, yeah. or is a forest fire started? I'm from Colorado, so that one <laughs> yes. hits a little bit close to home. But these drones can fly around, and basically this interface that you guys have designed allows somebody like me that doesn't know code that well yes. to interact with these drones and Gen AI basically creates the commands in Python code or whatever it might be yes. to actually control this technology. That is, you summed it up, yeah, perfectly. Oh, perfect, I've been practicing that in front of a mirror <laughs> all night. So that's super cool. I always love stuff that, it makes it more accessible to more people, Absolutely, right? Not yes. everybody's a coder. I'm unabashedly not great at coding, so I love this kind of stuff. We're here for the demo, that's what customers come to see, right? So we've got four kind of arenas yes. within your one booth, right? So four people can try this at any given time. Uh, again, we're at the AWS main convention area, so that's super cool. So we get into the game, we hit sign in, yep. right? Yep. Launch game. Yep. We get an awesome countdown to build the suspension. It's a warm up, clearly. yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to talk everybody <laughs> through the screen prompts here because I'm not sure how much the camera is showing. So once it gets into here, we see the large language model application where we can type in and interact with the drone. Yes. Then we can see the camera angles. Yes. Right, so then we go ahead and hit take off. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, oh. just fine. <laughs> Free scaring me there, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so it popped up to four feet, you That's were right. saying? Okay, then what happens? It's going to drop down to two feet. Okay. If we have any lighting issues, because it is in this big open area, we might have a little bit of it kind of hovering. But what it should do, and I'm just going to, yeah, it's perfect this time. Perfect. It's going to read the QR code 00. zero. That's the first one. And it's just going to hover there. Gotcha. So you can see the camera pointed down on the QR code. Yes. and then. Basically, I can type in any command and tell it to go to a certain quadrant, and that's where it will fly to. Correct. We're using a small model, okay. 7 billion parameter Falcon on okay. the edge, so we have some commands that are limited, but okay. you can go ahead, try something like go to tile 13, for example. Okay, I'm going to set my microphone down here. Oh, let me type that in here. Go ahead. And then, yeah, the, we'll and hit send. the send. send. All right, so I typed in go to tile 1, 3. Then it comes up with a bunch of tasks to get to that tile. That right? is correct. So then we have to execute each of those correct. at a time. Okay? And you, I'll, I'll, I'll do it this one because it's a double yeah. click, so it's a little tricky. Okay. But you got to double click it. We do it purposely. Okay. Just in case a user tries, you know, hits yeah. it by accident. Of course. All right. So the drone moves that next QR code in the sequence, mm -hmm. scans it, and then I should get a prompt here, right? Yep. So now you, you know, you get now you're the next command you want to run. Okay. So the next step is zero two. So you, again, you do that twice and it's going to go to the next tile. Gotcha, okay. Now you go ahead and do the, the next one, which is zero 03. Okay, double click that. Yeah, and it's going to move to zero 03. So what you're doing, I mean, it's pretty, if you really think about it, you're not programming, you haven't done anything. Yeah. You just asked it to go somewhere. Yeah. It's, it generated all this Python code, and now it's giving you the sequence of commands. Yeah, it makes it much more accessible for people. Exactly, yeah, I yeah. love that, okay. So yeah, let's go to this click. next one. Rotating so it's moved 90. up fours. Now it's turning here to the right to yep. go to this one three. And you have a little uh, kind of GPS kind of thing. It tells okay. you where you are on the model. Perfect. 
So then what's the game part of this, as we're waiting for it to so, move here? Yeah, so it's when you hit an inspection tile, which we haven't hit any yet, but let me go ahead and execute that one for you. So we went to 1-3. Okay. So let's go to, I'm gonna do it for you just because. Of course I chose one of the, one of the only ones that wasn't an inspection tile. <laughs> that was my fault, because I think that's the one that I told you to go to. Yeah, yeah we'll say that, <laughs> I like that better, okay. So, so go ahead and click that one. So we're going to an inspection tile. Twice. So those are the ones I assume that are green? Yes, exactly. Perfect. So you navigate to the green tiles. Uh, again, with just basic language, go to commands. Exactly. You can also say other things like go east, go west, turn right. Oh, OK. okay. So, or go to an inspection tile. It'll actually map out the, the path for you. Gotcha. And then I'll do, I, I don't know why I'm doing it for you, Nick. <laughs> I, I, I keep getting distracted here with the video feed. All right, so now we reach an inspection Listen, point. Listen, you can answer this question. Uh, is this roadway in disrepair? I mean, by Colorado standards, probably not, but for everybody else, yes. So we're going to hit That's yes. It. So there. now you got your points, 496 Perfect. Okay, points. so then basically you get points by correctly assessing whether or not something needs inspection, something needs damage. Exactly. Okay, so where do those points go then? <laughs> they go on the leaderboard. Okay, so there's a leaderboard over here. You yes. said they have prizes at the end of every day. They do day. have prizes. Okay, so to make sure I get this right, you have three minutes to fly this in these demos for everybody. So the game lasts three minutes. Yes. You hit all the inspection tiles. You get points for total time to do that. Yes. As well as correct inspections. At the end of every day, you get a prize if you top in the leaderboard, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. All right, that's fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, no, it and, lands for you. Oh, it already landed. Folks. So, so you hit three minutes, it lands it for you. Perfect. All right, well... That's super cool, very interactive. Like I said, everybody, four people can do this at any given time. Don't need any coding experience. That's the beauty of this demo. So thank you so much, Rui, thank for you, showing Nick. this to us. And uh, back to you guys at the desk.